Hi there, is it Friday yet? Probably by the time this posts, it will be Friday. TGIF to you. I'm meteorologist at Chicago Windler, and here's a look at tonight's Chicks Chat. All right, if Thursday seemed hot, there's a reason. It was the second hottest this year. High temperature of 103. Also, the sunshine out there was a little hazy at times. Yep, another round of that African dust from the Sahara Desert getting to us. Good news coming out of the Climate Prediction Center. Fall outlook released. Temperatures in the Austin area expected to be near normal, which is certainly better than hotter than normal. And look at the panhandle, below normal temperatures. It gets better though. Your fall outlook for rain, above normal rain is expected for the fall. This is great news and even better still, check this out. This is the fall drought outlook. Now in the areas you can see in the darkest of browns, that is where the drought could end according to the Climate Prediction Center. And in the spots that you can see out here in this lighter shade of sandy color, that's where the drought is expected to improve. The only expected area for the drought to persist down into South Texas. So you know what? I really hope this pans out. It would be excellent news. Why the change? because of an El Nino watch, a pattern change caused by El Nino working in. There's a 65% chance that El Nino will form, fall through the winter, and for Central Texans, that means a trend for more storms. We will take it. How about your day on Friday, 102, same on Saturday, if you're heading to the Bat Fest. Sunday, going to the Hot Sauce Fest, how about 102 again. Back to school on Monday, 75 in the morning, 102 in the afternoon. Then some other schools going back on Tuesday, how about 103 as the heat peaks. May get a little bit of a break Wednesday and Thursday by a couple of degrees anyway, and I do have lonely rain chances, but don't hold your breath. Also out in the Atlantic, there's an area of disturbed weather. We had been watching it for the possibility of it developing into Tropical Storm Cristobal. Now it appears that even if it does develop, it will likely be steered away from the U.S. the way most of the computer models are looking at this time. Either way, we'll keep tracking. Have a good night and enjoy your Friday and your weekend. Take care.